AI is the technology expected to take center stage at this year's Google I.O. meetup after that company's dramatic shift in focus. All this alongside the usual new hardware, like the first foldable Google Pixel smartphone. Here with more, Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley. I imagine in regular times, that would be the exciting thing, would be the foldable phone. Yeah, you would think that would be the most exciting announcement if this was regular times, but AI really going to be the star of the show at Google I.O. And, you know, just to, to be clear, they always show off some kind of AI technology, but this time around they're responding directly to Microsoft's own push into generative AI with their open AI partnership. Uh, that's resulted in their new Bing search engine and their push to try to steal market share from Google. So we're going to see more discussion about generative AI this time around than we have uh, at any other point. Uh, likely, we'll uh, hear conversation about how Google is going to start putting that kind of technology into its search product. So they've discussed how they want to do that uh, in the past. Uh, they announced their barred AI chatbot. That's in limited preview, so maybe we'll get that uh, available to everyone at some point. Uh, and then uh, the the search aspect and how generative AI would go into search. But then, you know, as you said, we have those those phones also coming. Uh, there's the foldable uh, that you know uh, looks really really interesting. Um, they showed it off in a tweet, uh, and you know, I mean, we have seen foldable phones from competitors like Samsung, uh, but this one looks like it's got a, a few differences uh, from the Samsung foldable to make it interesting, though. To be honest, I'm still not totally sold on a foldable phone yet. Hmm. Yeah, Huawei had the Mate X as well. So there have been foldy phones out there, Dan. I mean, you and I have had this conversation. I'm not sold. I probably won't be sold for a while on the fold, but we'll see what can enter into the space there. Dan, unlike Apple, Google can't seem to keep new devices under wraps, though. And so with this foldable Pixel device, you know, how does this all play into their broader uh, kind of uh, um, tech strategy or at least um, consumer technology strategy? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because for a long time there was conversation of whether or not the, the Pixel line would continue to go on because it's, you know, it's, it's a lost leader for them. Um, they basically use it as a means to get Android out there. Um, it's the, the most popular mobile operating system in the world. You know, a lot of people in the U.S. use iOS, sure, but, you know, iPhones are expensive. And so in other parts of the world, they use Android devices. And that's, you know, really where Google is, is interested in pushing. So, um, you know, it's, it's something that they use to basically serve as a platform for other, uh, other companies to say, look, this is what uh, an Android phone is capable of doing when done as we see uh, fit or as, as we want it to be done. And so, you know, they focus on a lot of different technologies um, inside the device, whether that's um, um, reducing motion blur, um, night uh, photography, that's some of the best out there, uh, special capabilities for when you receive a phone call. So they, they do have all this AI smarts or these AI smarts in their phones that you really won't find on other devices. Uh, but, you know, the, the hardware themselves uh, you know, it's something that margins aren't going to be as good as the advertising services. Um, and so it's never going to be kind of the the main bread and butter for, for Google and Alphabet. It'll continue to be the search side, but it is something that they seemingly want to continue to move forward with for a while. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to hearing about the specific announcements from there. Thanks a lot, Dan, for the preview. Appreciate it.